Oh, wow. Look at these fancy mugs. I know. You it's the me? farewell season. We got to dip it in gold. Mm, mm, That's what they mm. say. <laughs> man, it's so nice to meet you, man. It's great you to have well. you here. You as well. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've been back. Congratulations on hosting your 27th show. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank yeah. you. I feel like I should get a, a blazer or something. You need to get like some a, kind like of blazer, kind of coat your own mug. Yeah. I don't know. Something. Absolutely. Now, I know you're not a stranger to the lot. You used to t uh, tape Chuck here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, For five years, we, we shot Chuck here, and it was great. I mean, you know, you've been here on the lot. It feels... It's like a college campus. I, don't, I yes. never went to college, but it feels like a college campus. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, and I would pop around and say hi to different people. I'd come in here and play ping pong all the time. Just, they were like, have... what the hell is Zach doing back here? <laughs> I'm like, I don't have a ping pong table. Just let me in. <laughs> now, since then, you've also moved to, you've moved to Texas as yeah. well. And, yeah. and you've been out there for a bit. How is it living out there? I love it. I love right. it. A uh, lot less traffic, that's for sure. Um, the air quality is better. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I moved out. I just, I love California. I grew up in Ventura, California. Okay, yeah. I'm, so, I'm going to be there, up there for the holidays, but Texas was just calling my name four years ago, so I moved out and got some land and have a tractor and dirt bike. Oh, yeah, there you go. You're looking at pictures of oh, there. We go. Got oh, you're doing it right. You got know. a tractor in the whole in the whole. Yeah, time, living huh? the Texas life. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're also spending the holidays there, too. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, I spent the holidays uh, uh, with my family up in Ventura. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. I had, uh, Thanksgiving with them up there, and then I have uh, Christmas with them coming up. So That's amazing. And I got my little nephews who I love. So I'm, if you guys got you know, nieces and nephews and kids, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, that's what the holidays are. Well, that's really what life is all about. Absolutely. But the holidays kind of amplify that a good bit. So, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 we can clap for We can give it up for the, the future of our, you know, <laughs> exactly. of our generation. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of things that Dave, I, I also wonder too, because I know that you're into extreme sports. Oh, yeah. Um, and you jumped out of a plane on your 40th birthday? Oh, yeah. I've jumped out. Of, anybody else jumped out of planes before? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely people. jumped out of It's planes. crazy. Yeah. I get it. But it kind of like puts life into perspective every time you do it. In yeah. fact, the last time I did it, yeah, it was my 40th birthday. And every, I do a tandem. I'm not like certified, so I got to like strap onto somebody else. Although in this case, the guy was like half my age and half my size, so I felt like I was wearing a human backpack. <laughs> it was very strange. And he had also like he was he was a young guy. He had some experience, but he was like the least experienced guy in the group. And we jumped out of the plane. <laughs> we jumped out of the plane, and we free fall. And the free fall is the best part of it. And then uh, you pull, you get to pull the shoot, and I pull the shoot. And then this young guy is so intense, and he's like, I need you, you need, to, you need to arch back, arch back. He's yelling at me. I'm like, oh, wow, there's something very wrong right now. And my whole life starts flashing before my eyes. I'm like, this is the irony of me dying on my 40th birthday. Yeah, absolutely. It's fantastic. And the, but the problem was the shoot kind of got tangled up. I knew what was going on, too. I was like, I think this is what's going on. And we finally spin around enough, and we got it untangled. We were mm -hmm. all, like seconds away from having to pull the backup shoot. By the way, this is not... This is obviously not a good advertisement to go skydiving. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, you didn't really But you really it. still should do it. You should still shoot. Uh, you should do it. And uh, we finally get it around. He's like, oh, all right, we're good. We're good. I'm like, thanks, man. My pants are soiled at this point. Absolutely. But I'm glad we're going to live. Yeah. That's great. I'm glad, I'm glad you made it out. Now, we got to talk about your new movie, American Underdog, where yeah. you play a football player. Yeah. Did you play football in high school? No. Or anything like that? No, no not at all. No. I didn't know I was going to be this tall or big. I was right. like 5'4 my freshman year of high school. And... Mm -hmm made fun of incessantly. And so, you know, I gravitated toward all of the other kids that tended to get made fun of, which were the artistic, nerdy kids Absolutely, in theater and stuff. Absolutely, 100%. But I loved entertaining people from a very young age. With this, though, you know, I mean, with every role, if you get the time, and, and we had a little bit of time, I was thrown to a crash course of learning how to be a quarterback and had a great coach mm -hmm. named Clint Dolezal. Plus, you know, I play Kurt Warner, and he was on set with us a lot, so I got a lot of pointers from Kurt, which Absolutely. was very, very helpful. Um, and you know, let me jump in real quick. Tell, tell us, tell everybody what it's about real quick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so well, some people know the story already, but about, I don't know, 14 years ago or something, Kurt Warner, he was this guy from Iowa. He, he didn't get drafted out of college. He had a shot almost with the Packers, but it didn't work out. And then he just kept believing and kept believing and uh, was stocking shelves at a grocery store, played in the Arena Football League mm -hmm. when it popped up. And then he got a second shot. He ended up getting drafted by the Rams. And in his second year there, having never really played any games, mm -hmm. the, the, the starting quarterback, Trent Green, got injured. He got moved up to, you know, pr primary quarterback. And without ha having ever really played in the NFL, he took the team all the way to, to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl. Yeah, it was an incredible wow. story. Wow. It was wow. an incredible story. That's and, but, 
but ultimately, it's, it's about that. It's about the football, but it's 25% it's football. It's 75% life and relationship and him and his beautiful wife, Brenda, and how they meet and her incredible kids and how they have an impact on how that family unit galvanizes mm -hmm. and the struggles and the trials and tribulations and scrape and change together Love to put it. gas in your tank, like all that stuff, things that I think everybody can relate to. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. And then as an artist, was that how inspiring was that to hear that that kind of perseverance and now step into those shoes? Oh, it, I mean, I was a fan of Kurtz from, you know, back in the day when I saw all this happen in real time. Mm -hmm. And I always found him to be a very inspiring person and the story that the little I knew of it to be very inspiring. But, you know, I, I think that all of us, I think kids have this incredible intuition and connection to God. And I think every kid, at some level, you, you feel that dream or vision mm -hmm. given to you. And unfortunately, life just knocks a lot of us mm -hmm. around and it mm -hmm. knocks it out of us. And Kurt never gave up. You know, when I was a kid and I wanted to be an actor, it was very similar. I mean, you know, we had very different dreams and very mm -hmm. different journeys, mm -hmm. but you got to hang on to it. You got to believe. And I, and I, I believed since I was four that God wanted me to be an actor, and I get to do this now. And Kurt believed since he was a kid that he was supposed to be the next Joe Montana, and then he friggin' did it. He did it. You know, I love it. I think we that there's something that. very Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, we got to take a break, but more with Zach right after this.